Labilia is probably one of the best herbs that you can use for this. You can take it alone or you can take it or couple it with another herb. A lot of people typically take it in teas because it's just a lot easier to consume like that. Me personally, I'm a liquid extract person, but that's just my personal preference. And also, I wouldn't take it in the powder form. It just acts too slowly. So if I was you, I would avoid the powder form. And I'll say this too, if the resistance is low or it's not moving as fast as you need it to, add some inclination to it. Because we have to remember, it's an antiviral approach. Now, let's get a little bit more into business. No dairy should be in your diet at all. This increases the creation of process of phlegm. No solid meals. Herbal teas, vegetables, and fruit juices only. But also, let's take this to the Bible. It says, Jeremiah 30 and 17, But I will restore you to health and heal your wounds, declares the Lord, because you are called an outcast, Zion, for whom no one cares. God's promise of restoration and healing is highlighted in this verse, and we need to understand this. There's nothing that you can go through that God cannot take you out of and heal you from. So all in all, God bless, and I hope you guys have a good one, and thank you for reaching out.